What a lovely new day here at Elegant Industries. We are back. So last episode, we finally managed to rescue all the other Topians from the other universe. And we are all now safe and sound back home here in Topia, which is awesome. So now we finally have the time to work a bit on Elegant Industries. And well, after we hung out a bit at the beach, after our stressful journey back, Kate introduced some new players. Which, well, I will not replay all the footage here. Go check out his video for that. So we've got some awesome new people on the server. And hopefully we will see them on YouTube as well. So this is going to be awesome. But anyway, let me show you what happened. We've got all these new people, so many great ideas, so many good, exciting things to do. Yeah, 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 good ideas. Get out of here. Ow. Here's something important. Okay, guys? All these other Topians were gone for a bit. Forget about them, okay? We're the what? real Topians. And here's the truthful part. The bank, this is the new life of Topia, okay? So what? we we have to live in an economic paradise, right? And how do we get an economic paradise? We can't have freedom. Like, what is this Caden Craft trying to promote? My goodness. What we need to do is we need to centralize all of our power in the bank. And not only that, but we should put every single diamond we have into the bank to be properly managed by me. Thank you. What? What? <laughs> All right, fine. You want corporate takeover? Caden Heavy Industries can give you corporate takeover. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that a challenge? Yeah, I think it is a challenge. What? What? Is it? So you want to put a wager on it? Whoever can make the most diamonds by the end of the season? Uh, yeah, we'll do that. All right, sounds good. Anybody else want to take this bet? Elegant Industries. Yeah, Elegant Industries is in. Okay, this All just right. got this just got very interesting. Who? Okay, whichever clear. one of us. No, 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 no. The, the rules have to be like this. From today forward, diamonds we make today moving forward, they're the only ones that count. And at the end of the season, whoever has the most diamonds wins. All right, let's do it. So we entered into a wager versus Caden Heavy Industries and, well, whatever industry Benzonian has, Mr. Icraft MC. So, uh, well, we, we, we better make a lot of diamonds now. So I think today we're going to focus on optimizing elegant industries. And yeah focus on making more profits. So, well, this is our to-do board. We can finally remove the smeltery from here. And well, the farming license rules have changed slightly, so if we build a farm for our personal use, we don't have to pay a license fee. So I think we're gonna optimize our greenhouse over there and install some villager-powered crop farms and maybe a pumpkin and melon farm so we get loads and loads of crops to trade with our villagers. And I'm pretty sure I don't need to pay a license for that because it I won't sell any food. I will just give it to my villagers. Yeah, feed my employees. That, that's private use, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's personal use. I'm sure of it. And then I also want to build some lovely, lovely things today. So we promised Black Hunter to build him a shop. And we're gonna tackle that today as well. But I also want to build a small little shop for Elegant Industries. And that is a rock shop. Because, well, in our mob farm over there, we actually make quite a lot of gunpowder. And well, the sugarcane, I don't have a sugarcane farm, but I just harvest that manually, so that's fine. We don't need that much sugarcane anyway. So we can craft up a ton of rockets and put it into a little shop and, well, hopefully make some profits out of it. So yeah, I guess we, we're just gonna start with that. So we are over here in Topia, in this shopping district. And well, this tiny plot here, this is what's called a penny plot. So we can buy this plot for five diamonds and it's eight by eight blocks. It's pretty tiny, but I think it will give me just enough space to build a super cute little rocket shop. But well, first we actually need to pay for this plot, so let's head over to the glorious bank of Topia and deposit our five diamonds. And we're just gonna leave it right here. I'm sure that will be fine. I hope so. Alright, and now let's head back to our plot. Alright, now we do have everything ready. So without further ado, let's start build a rocket shop. <laughs> So this is my cute little rocket and I think it turned out pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. It's super simple. But actually the 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 fire plume thing that comes out at the end, that was pretty hard. I still don't think it looks right, but I'm I'm going to work on that off camera eventually. 
But yeah, I think it's a super cute little rocket. Now let's head inside. So we're gonna use the pedestrian entry for now. So we hop on in here, climb the ladder, and then up here, it's super cram. But yeah, welcome to Elegant Rockets. All rockets are one diamond for four stacks. I think that's a pretty good price. And then we have flight version one, two, and three. And as you can see, we already started stocking them up. And up here, there's actually an entrance for Elytra users. So you can actually fly right into the rocket and then, yeah, help yourself to some rockets out of the chest from up there. So yeah, I think that turned out pretty cool. I think it's a nice use of this tiny, tiny space. And yeah, it gives Topia a nice rocket in the sky. And hopefully it will give us a little bit of income. And well, speaking of diamonds, let's check our profits from the other shops. Alright, so the building boutique already made 50 diamonds this week. Nice. Let's check if we sold any... No, nobody wants glowing. But I'm pretty sure we also sold a beacon. So let's check that. Oh yes! We sold two beacons. So that's another 40 diamonds. We're making diamonds! Alright, now let's put those away. And I installed a little bit of a, I don't know how to call it, elegant industry members only section. Just, well, just a place where I can deposit my diamonds and, well, report the profits. So we're gonna put these in here and we're actually gonna name some papers so we can track how many diamonds we made. Alright, so we made quite a bit of profits already. So we made 40 diamonds in the beacon shop, 18 diamonds with the books, Four with the carrots and 33 with the building boutique. And I suspect this has all been Caden since he's been back on the server. So thank you Caden. Your diamonds are much appreciated. But anyway, so even though I made the most diamonds with the beacons, in general I tend to make most diamonds with the books. I think I need to optimize my villager trading hall a bit. And for that I want to install some automation for the crop gathering. So. I have been AFK for a while to more villagers. As you can see, we do have quite a lot now. So we're gonna bring some of them over into our greenhouse next to the trading hall. And I'm going to try to attempt to make an automated crop gathering farm. And I'm gonna try my best get these villagers to do the work for me. So yeah, let me get to work on that and I'll bring you back once I, once I have some results. Optimizing such a villager powered crop farm. It's very tedious and long work, so I'm not gonna take you through all of it I'm Just gonna basically show you the end result. So first, let's take a look at what it was before So we just had these four 9x9 patches where we could grow our own crops and pumpkins and melons And I harvested this all by hand And well now, what did I do? I put in some walls first of all and some holding cells for villagers to go in. And these villagers don't do anything, they just sit there and wait for other villagers to feed them. And these other villagers, the farmers, they live in these 9x9 patches now. So they each got a composter as a workstation, and now they're happy to work here for Elegant Industries. So they harvest the crops, potatoes and carrots for me, and drop them off at their villager friends over here. Which is where I installed some hoppers to pick it up and collect it underground. But because villagers are kind of inefficient and drop a lot of crops on the floor and don't pick them up, I decided to install a hopper minecart system as well. So down here you can see we do have hopper minecarts going forth and back, picking up all the crops that the villagers drop and dropping them up here in the chest. So all I have to do now is AFK and the villagers will do all the work for me. So this is awesome, but well, it wouldn't be much optimized if I only got more crops out of this. I also need more farmers to trade with. So that's why on this side, we have a lot of farmers. In fact, I installed a whole row of farmers where I can trade my crops into emeralds, which I then can use in the regular trading hall over here to get books and all kinds of building blocks from my masons. But yeah, this was a lot of work and especially to get in the zombie took forever because they just kept dying on me and well, thanks to Eve, I finally managed to get one. So yeah, I think this is it. All right, enough of the villager optimization for now. I still need to build up a nice shop for Black Hunter. So on my quest to save the Topians, I promised Black Hunter in return for building up the big portal, I would build him a nice shop. And he has given me some requests how his shop should look like. 
So he's planning on selling all kinds of green stuff and basically the only request he has is that there should be a parrot involved in this build because he's also gonna sell parrots and that it's gonna be mostly green. So let me gather up a lot of green materials and then let's go. So Black Hunter provided me with some ingredients for concrete. So we just need some green dye. So we need to smelt up some cacti and combine it with some bone meal to make lime green dye because I think that's just the nicer green. And well, we can use some of the moss that Eve was nice enough to give us. Yes, yes, this is gonna make a nice roof, I think. We're gonna use some sugarcane as decorational blocks. We're gonna use loads of leaves. Then we do have some glass. And of course we need mossy cobblestone. Yes, yes. And yeah, I think we combine it with dark oak. That's gonna look nice. I am going to need some melons. And I think we should have some lime green wool as well to mix in with the green concrete. Okay, I think that's enough of the green stuff. Let's go see Black Hunter's plot. So this is Black Hunter's plot and it's right next to my base. So this is pretty cool. So I basically get to decide what I live in front of. So that's awesome. And I think we're gonna design this shop in a way that we do have a little bit of a pathway going through so we can actually get to our base. All right, so here are the materials. And as you can see, we have loads of green stuff here. And now let's start building. This shop turned out pretty cute, super green at least, and yeah, I'm super happy with it. So we do have this big window here where Black Hunter can put in all the parrots, so I think that's gonna look really cool to have this, yeah, this additional bit of color here, so yeah, and I think the parrots on the roof, they're, they're a bit derpy, but I think they're cute. So we do have a green one and a red one, and yeah, I, I really hope Black Hunter likes this. And by the way, I did not change the road, but I... I approve. I think that looks pretty awesome. Not sure who it was, but I like it. So now with this out of the way, there's a lot of stuff that I want to show you on the server. Actually, a lot of time has passed since I started recording this episode. So a lot of different things have popped up here in Topia. And well, first of all, I want to show you this. This lovely terraforming that happened around my base. So this awesome looking Mesa Hill was made by Furious Frog, my newest neighbor. And he decided to build his base around my base in a manner that that makes it really immersive. And I think his oriental looking buildings here really match my library really well. So this looks absolutely awesome. I love all the details. I mean, look at that. That's so cute. And here we do have a frog fountain. And I'm super happy with this. And yeah, as you can see, I moved my stable to make some space for him. But I think it's well worth it. This looks absolutely amazing. And it just gives my base this lovely surrounding. So I'm, I'm thrilled with this. And yeah, there's a barrel. Let's check out the barrel. Greetings fellow Topian. After return of the travelers finally, and having the bank ready and operational, we in God's goods believe that this is the time to be more organized and more stable. I agree. It is time that we have a leader who will guide us to a better future. Ooh. And therefore we suggest that we elect a mayor. 
sometime soon. As for his powers and duties, we propose that he shall be the one responsible of the taxes everyone pays and use them for the benefits of Topia. Okay, that sounds interesting. We ask you, fellow Topians, to go to the meeting hall and sign in the mayoral elections as voters by leaving a paper with your name on it in a chest label voters and as a candidate by leaving your name in a paper in chest label as candidates. Okay. Oh, mayor, huh? Well, I'm pretty busy with elegant industries and trying to make as many diamonds as possible and making the place look as good as I can. So I don't think I have time to be mayor, but let's go sign up as voters. Town hall. Here we go. Register to vote. And we'll... No? Seriously? Seems like I'm the first to vote. And looks like Cliffjumper and Caden are going to be mayor or candidates. So this is gonna be interesting. Okay, I got a bit distracted there. Now let's continue our tour. So let's start over here right next to the green shop that I just built. Here we have Miner's Decorative, made by Eve. And I think this looks absolutely awesome. Then we do have Bob Crunch's Sea Lantern Shop. Monumental, oh this is great. So yeah, this is Bob Crunch's shop. Some lovely axolotls in here. And yeah, he sells all the prismarine stuff, which is pretty good. And then there's more, there's way more. Over here, the nice little blinking shop is Eve's, which I have to say, it looks awesome. So we do have some honeycomb roofs and together with the cyan concrete, I think that looks awesome. And I think he sells shulker shells. First purchase shulker shell. Yes, I got a coupon for that at my plot. Let me show you real quick. Yeah, we got this lovely little chest here at our plot and shop at Eve's, get a free shell on first purchase. Yes, yes, we shall do. Let me get my diamonds. Now let's head over and we shall go through a lovely miner's decorative shop. I I will buy here eventually, I promise. So let's go this way. This will give us a nice view of Eve's shop. Super cool shop and the face is just awesome. So Eve sells a ton of different stuff. He sells all kinds of mossy stuff like mossy cobble and azalea trees, flowering azalea and of course moss. Then over here we do have different end loots. And he also sells elytras. And then we have this machine. So here you can cycle different deals, like rocky start, tree cycle. We get the concrete do-it-yourself box. And yeah. a bit carried away shopping here at Eve's. Well, I bought myself an extra elytra. I spent quite a lot of time here until I finally found a box that I liked. So I got myself the mossy box with mossy cobblestone and moss. So this is awesome. And the lovely black shulker box as well. I'm super happy with that box and my new elytra, of course. But as I said, I spent quite a lot of time here, so it's already night. So let's head home, sleep the night away. And, oh my god, what is this? Looks like something flew through the portal. Oh my god, and there's a helicopter crashed into Rory's base. Oh, it looks like it crashed right through the portal. Looks like somebody needs to practice their flying skills a bit. Enough of the distractions. Alright, here we are again. In front of my lovely base with the lovely additions of Furious Frog. But there's still more stuff that I want to show you. Because Caden finally built a shop. Yes, he finally did it. So let me show you. It's all the way over here. Right next to Jeff, we have this lovely colorful shop. And he has these fancy glass doors. Take a look at this. Oh my god, that's so cool. And of course he sells wool. One dime per sack, which is pretty good price. And he also sells concrete or two dimes per sec, which is also really nice. And yeah, I think this shop is super fun, so colorful. Looks like it's not fully stocked yet, but who am I to judge? My, my shop is never stocked. But speaking of my shops, 
I think we are approaching the end of this episode and I think we should check on our profit once more. So let's do that. So let's start with the beacon shop. And yes, we made 40 more diamonds. Then let's check on our bestseller, the golden carrots. Oh, we sold out. So 13 diamonds for the golden carrots. We actually sold two of our life hacks. Four diamonds for that. And let's see. Glowing? Anyone? <gasps> yes, we sold three half stacks of glowing. Mending books all sold out. Nice. So that's another 27 diamonds. And unbreaking three sold four of those. Lovely, that's 12 more diamonds. And random books. Don't know what these were. Probably efficiency and stuff like that. So there's 12 more diamonds. Go out, cliff jump guy. Okay. All right, maybe. And let's get in here. Let's see. Did we sell any dirt? No dirt. We made five diamonds of blackstone. I really need to restock quartz. We sold cyan terracotta. Didn't sell any stone. We sold four terracotta. All right. So we made quite a lot of diamonds. So let's sum this up. We made almost two more stacks of diamonds. So this is awesome. Elegant Industries is rolling in diamonds. So let me put these away in my newly built members only area up here. Not sure if I've shown this already. This is quite a while ago, but that's when I started this episode. So that was all the diamonds we made until then. And now we have these beauties to add to this pile. So yeah, we have quite a lot of diamonds. And it looks like Bob Crunch made quite a lot of diamonds as well. Nice. I really hope these count as elegant industry diamonds. Because after all, he is a member of elegant industries. And well, I did help clearing out the monument. At least a little bit. Alright, I've compiled a list of my profits. And well, instead of doing it like this in here, with all the papers and the diamonds according to it, I actually made a book. So here we have it. Elegant Industries Profits Report. So, on the first day, when we started this episode, we made 98 diamonds. Which is pretty awesome. But now today we checked again and we made 122 diamonds more. So this brings us up to a grand total of 220 diamonds. Which, well, to me it sounds like a lot, so I don't know. Maybe we have a chance of winning this wager thing after all. But I think we need to optimize elegant industries even more, put in much more work to make our industries really beautiful and, well, sort of efficient at least. So we have a lot of work to do. But sadly, this has been all I've had time for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Ellie the Elegant Elephant and I hope to see you soon in my next episode of Topia. Bye!